I know you're very excited to check out who these upcoming fighters will be picking in this main event. But before I roll that video, I have some super exciting news to share that I'll be partnering up with mybookie.ag for the next couple of big fights. And what better way to kick it off than with this summer blockbuster trilogy between Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier. Now, speaking of predictions and picks, here's the current odds. Now use my promo code Helen to receive this offer and check out the link in the description below for more details. Before I roll this video, I have a pair of dice here, so why not roll our odds first? Conor McGregor versus Dustin Poirier, their trilogy. How do you see that one playing out? Ooh, that's a that's a good question. I don't know. I haven't I haven't been able to really get a visual of how do I see that fight playing out. Um, you know, Conor looked good in that fight. He looked fast. He looked focused. He looked sharp. Um, Dustin was you know landed the bigger shots and put his lights out. But you know, I don't think there's a lack of motivation from Conor. He looked he looked good going into that fight. Um, I re I'm a big fan of both of them. Really like both of them. Um, so, you know, I'd like to see Conor win. I'd like to see Conor win, and then you know, who who does he fight next? Another big fight. Um, but really, I don't I don't know how I see that fight playing out. I, I love Conor McGregor. Like, I'm I'm a fanboy. I'm a stand for sure because this guy just knows what he's doing. Like, he's uh his fighting style is excellent. But man, Poirier has put in the effort. Like. To, to see, uh, again, like, I went away. I didn't watch for a while. And he stepped his game up so much. And I, I watched the fight. I watched uh, Geiji. Oh, man. And, you know, I'm just, I was so surprised at that, you know, because he just figured Geiji out, you know. He just did the, he just unlocked. He unlocked, he figured it out. He knew what Geiji was going to do. Look, I, it's hard when you're laying on a mattress full of money to get up for a fight like that, I feel like Poirier is super hungry. Mm. Well, I'll give a slight edge to Poirier today, okay? But maybe if I get my Twitter back, I'll tweet, I'll tweet opposite, okay? Oh, man, somebody help me with that too. God bless America. See, Connor's fans, it's like, it's always win-win for Connor. It's, it's amazing what he's done, really. You know, he can win and people can say, oh, he's back. He can get his ass kicked and people can say, oh, he's not focused. It's always win-win for Connor. So, you know, one way or the other, does it really matter? I mean, this guy can lose every fight. And you know what? They're always going to have an excuse for him. I think he's probably going to get his ass kicked again, to be honest. But, but that's okay because they'll, they'll tell you that he wasn't focused again. They'll tell you it's because he just sold his whiskey to, for 600, what is that, 600 million? What did he sell it for, 600 million? They'll tell you it's because he did that and so he wasn't focused as he was finishing deals, the entrepreneur himself. And so this way he'll get another fight with somebody else and they'll watch it again. So Connor has really built a reputation. Prize fighting, prize winning reputation. The Pinata himself. Pinata through and through. When you get a prize for beating him up, and he's gonna get himself a prize too, just for fighting. That's a great fight. Um, man, I, I definitely think Dustin showed a lot last fight. And um, I don't, I, I see him maintaining that. And, um, you know, Connor getting tired again. I'm sure he's training and all this, but, you know, I don't know what he's gonna focus on. The calf kicks aren't that big of a deal. and. We'll see. I mean, his his old uh, his old way of fighting. I saw videos where, like, you know, when he was against Jose, the way that he moved. But he was also ten pounds lighter at featherweight. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna rock with USA on that one and South Florida. That's Dustin Poirier. I think he gets it done in the trilogy, and that there's no. I think that the imaginative idea of Conor McGregor coming back, beating Dustin, then becoming champion again over Oliveira, I don't, I don't think, um, I don't think he lands that shot on Oliveira, man. So I don't think that that imaginative idea of him being as great as he once was again comes out. He's too, he's made too much. He's he's done too well. 
and uh, I guess there's a limit in this sport. I I don't know if I can get it back either, but damn it, I'll get in there and throw some heat. Conor McGregor versus Dustin Poirier, their third fight. Who do you think it favors going into this trilogy? Well, I think if you, I mean to answer, I mean the way you ask the question, who does it favor? Right now, it would have to favor Dustin, and the reason I say that is because well, they just fought, and Dustin just knocked him out. Of course, coming into this, excuse me, they're one apiece. But when Conor knocked out Dustin, that was a long, long time ago. You know, at 145. At, at 145, of course. So the ability to take a shot for Dustin is a little more improved. We saw he took the shots against Conor the first time. Um, but I got to say, I respect Connor here. You got, you got to get, listen. I know a lot of people. You know, some of his antics, whatever. I can't say anything. My God, my antics were out of control. But, but you got to respect what he's doing here because I know personally to walk back into an octagon and fight somebody that just knocked you out, knocked you out cold, and left you on the canvas. To fight that person again immediately afterwards without getting a tune-up fight, you know, without getting a warm-up fight, get somebody a little bit lower to boost your mojo, to get your confidence back. That takes a lot of balls. You know, so you've got to respect what Connor's doing here. Um, how will the fight go? I'm assuming will be the next question. And who knows? I mean, they've both knocked each other out. They both have tremendous skills. You know, I think because of the momentum, because of the, the, the recent knockout, maybe you lean towards Dustin. But you can never underestimate Conor McGregor, as we know. And he's a very wealthy man. He's got untold riches. But the one thing you can't buy is a UFC championship. And we know that Conor holds his fighting ability and his fighting reputation dear to his heart. So while most people that, that have all these riches maybe wouldn't push themselves or apply themselves, as I say, for Conor, he holds uh, his reputation as a fighter just as high as he holds his bank account, I would assume. You know what I mean? Maybe not quite as high. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit less. I don't know. His fucking bank account's through the roof, let's be honest. But but still, the point I'm saying is he's going to be motivated for this fight because you cannot buy respect. You have to earn it. And the way he earns it is going out and beating Dustin Poirier. Listen, I respect what Connor's doing. You've you got to respect Dustin as well. It's going to be a tremendous fight and it could go either way. <laughs> 